All right, let's continue Jonah's prayer. He says in verse 5, The water surrounded me even to my soul. It's a strange feeling because water enters one's body, not his soul. But he's suffocated psychologically, and we all go through this feeling as when we reach depression or extreme fear, and we just cannot breathe psychologically, that is, not physically. Our teacher, St. Paul, touched on this point in 2 Corinthians 7.5. He said, We were troubled on every side. Outside were conflicts. Inside were fears. Then Jonah said, The deep closed around me. Weeds were wrapped around my head. That's verse 5. Psychologically, this is a difficult feeling, and having seaweed over his head was a humiliating feeling for a prophet. Small waves inside the whale colliding with him felt just over overwhelming. Then he said in verse 6, I went down to the moorings of the mountains. The earth with its bars closed behind me forever. The word forever indicates a moment of weakness and doubt. He goes down by doubt, then up with hope. Down by doubt, up with hope. The devil is not leaving Jonah alone, even as he prays. Therefore he says, I'm lost forever. Forever? This is wrong. Indeed, things are tough now, but they will, be, they will be better very soon. Just after that, he said, in verse 6, Yet you have brought up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. Notice that this verse is said in the past tense. The word brought reflects Jonah's faith in God. He says, I am sure you will not let me down. You could have let me drown in the sea, but you put me into the whale's belly for a reason. I'm sure your intention was good. Notice the importance of, I went down. In chapter 1, Jonah went down five steps. He went down to Joppa, then he went down to the boat, then to the bottom of the boat. He was the worst of the sailors, who all prayed except for him. Then to the bottom of the sea, then the whale. Even with Jonah's terrible downfall, no matter how far down he went, he said, I went down, yet you have brought up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. Meaning, I completely messed up everything. And you fixed it all. And that's what happened to mankind. Man, due to his sin, went down to the bottom of Hades, and Christ followed him down to Hades to bring him up his life from the pit. That's why Jonah is a model of Christ. It's as if, Lord, you are telling us in prayer that you are the only one who can save us. You are the only one who can bring me up. I do not have anyone to talk to. I haven't any hope in myself or anyone else. There is no power on earth to remove me from the belly of the whale except you. O oh Lord, my Lord, you are still responsible for me. Are you still able to say all that, Jonah, after what you've done? Yes, I know him and that he is kind. Verse 7, he said, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Exhaustion is severe fatigue, and psychological exhaustion is severe psychological fatigue. Mentally exhausted, Jonah had nothing to do except remember the Lord. Remembering the Lord for us in New Testament language means the Jesus prayer. That is, to call on the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, save me. Sometimes, from the severity of a person's depression or fear, he cannot pray from the Agbeya or the Psalms. If you ever find yourself in this situation, then the Jesus prayer is the solution. Just remember the Lord. Just call his name. He called upon our Lord. I remember the Lord and my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Jonah felt as if he was standing in front of the temple. He's in the belly of the whale, but he felt like his prayer transported him from the whale to his holy temple. At the peak of our fatigue, we feel our prayers bring us inside heaven. My prayer brings me into the midst of the angels. 